Well, hey friends and neighbors, this is Chuck out at Sheraton Park Farms. Welcome back to the farm. So in my previous life as a nurse and a paramedic, I had the opportunity to have one of the coolest jobs on the face of the planet. I was a flight nurse for a couple of years and we done scene runs, inter-facility transports and all that kind of stuff. And it was a great job. Today, I'm going to get back to those roots just a little bit. But instead of being a flight nurse today, we're going to be a flight farmer. So <laughs> I'm missing the onesie. I don't have the jumpsuit. That's the only thing I don't have. I need to get, I've got a pair of denim coveralls. Maybe I should get me a patch as farmer on. Anyway, um, but today we've got a drone. We had a company send us a drone to do a review. Let's get that thing out. Let's do an unboxing. Let's show you what all we got. Let's maybe see if we can get it out and fly it without crashing it a little bit. Um, and talk about how even if you're not doing YouTube videos or Instagram or any of that, no social media, let's talk about how a drone can potentially help you on your farm as a farmer to better manage your operation. Hang out with us for a little bit. So the folks from RUKO, R-U-K-O, reached out to us and asked us if we would be interested in trying out one of their drones here on the farm. So they have sent us the F-11 GIM-2 RUKO drone to give a try. Now, I will freely admit I went ahead and opened the box and charged the batteries, but we've not flown it yet, and there's a really, really important reason why I've not flown it yet. If I wrecked it and tore it all to Dickens, then I wouldn't be able to do the unboxing. So, <laughs> so we're going to do the unboxing, um, and then we'll go out and fly this thing around. I think there's some really important um, benefits that a farmer can gain from having a drone. Now, of course, you know, we're going to use it to shoot footage for videos, of course, but I think there's other uses. Let's open it up, see what's in the box. We'll go out, we'll fly it together. We'll see how that goes. Um, and we'll talk about how I think you as a farmer may be able to benefit from having a drone accessible on your property. Okay, time for the obligatory unboxing. I know this box is kind of shiny creating some glare so let's go ahead and get that out of here like i said a minute ago i did open this up um, and got the batteries out to charge them so that we could play with it um, but let's just see what all comes in we'll sh i'll show you exactly what this looks like whenever you buy one uh, whenever you open the box up there's going to be a link in the description down below for um, the drone and also i think we've got a coupon code i'll double check on that but i think we've got a code where we can save you a little money if you're interested in one of these comes in a nice case uh, not hard shell but it is firm um, so got a nice case there to carry your drone in good handle over here good substantial handle there for your drone and then um, got a piece of foam there um, in the top end let's look up here first we've got the user manual and also um, your quick guide and safety disclaimer on using that. Also, they send us a couple extra blades. I'm sure I'll probably need those. I'll probably wreck it before it's over with. Um, on the other end, a couple of charging cables. We've got charging two charging cables here to charge up the uh, remote and also your battery. Both of them, excuse me, are USB-Cs. Becoming pretty standard. You get an extra battery here. Um, so you've got an extra battery to keep charged uh, from whenever you're operating your drone. Again, y'all, I'm not a drone expert. I've never flown one. Saunders brother has one. He came up and done, shot some footage of the farm for us one time, a couple times actually. And I've looked at his, but I've never had one in my hands uh, to really explore it. So, you know, I, I'm, a, I'm a total noob at the whole drone thing. So this is your remote. Um, there is a, an app that you download. Whether you have uh, an Apple or an Android, you can download the app for this. Phone goes in here. It's got a springy clip to hold your phone. A couple of antennas. <clears throat> and then you also, let's see, what else is this? Oh, it's got more handles here at the bottom. I didn't realize this. Oh yeah, cool. All right there, so there's your handles. So that's your controller opened up. Again, substantial. The, uh, the joysticks feel uh, springy. Not, uh, not, not any slop in them or anything like that. Dial controls on top. You know, it's kind of plastic, but overall it's, you know, it's okay. Mm, a little stiff there. And then here's the drone itself. And so, oh, it uh, does have a gimbal on the end. Uh, that's your camera. It has a cover, cover, cover popped, up, popped off. But uh, it does have the gimbal here. Um, the rotors. Just flip out like so. 
And again, you know, to me, it, I mean, it feels okay. It's lightweight. It's not super heavy, but it's also not, it doesn't feel, to me, it doesn't feel cheap and plasticky, uh, so to speak. So um, battery is in the top. Battery pops out, pops right back in. Quick change on your battery. USB-C charger on this side. And then your SD card takes a, an SD mini. Yep. Micro, excuse me. It takes a micro SD that goes right there. So that's, uh, that's where your SD card goes. All right. That's it. Um, that's all that's in the box. Again, we'll see. I've not flown it. I have zero flying experience with one of these things. Um, I hope I don't wreck it. Uh, again, uh, Ruko sent this to us. Um, we did not buy this, but also they did not ask me to say positive things about it. So this is going to be a, a very uh, candid review, and I'll tell you exactly what I think about it. But, you know, again, I think um, for farm use, there may be some benefits that we can, uh, that we can capture with this. So, all right, proof's in the pudding. Let's see if we can get it in the air and get it back on the ground without, uh, without wrecking it. It's spinning. Got the blades to spin. GPS mode. Oh man. All right, so I've been flying this thing around here now for a couple of minutes. And it's it's a little different. It's gonna take a little getting used to um, just to, you know, how to, how to control it to get it to go where I want it to go and to do what I want it to do. But, um, and I need to go back and read the manual. It tells me I need to format the SD card. So I'm not sure how much of the footage of this thing that I've got, but it's got, a, it's got an auto land um you just push the home button and it comes back and lands where you took off so let's uh let's try that and see if it works um and see if we can get it back to uh back to where we kind of started from over here return home I don't know if I'm getting that in the camera or not. Oh, yeah. Stop, return home. And there it is. <laughs> Reuben, no, don't be messing with it. So I think I need to get something to land it on. Um, I've seen guys that, that buy these. It looks like a it looks like a miniature helipad landing for um, for these. And I believe that I've got this on. Uh, I believe it comes auto set with beginner mode. It would only let me go so high, and only let me go so far. Um, I need to figure out how to format the SD card because I'm not sure how much or any of the footage that I got from flying it. So I'm going to do that and let's, uh, let's try flying it around a little bit more 
and uh, see what we can capture with it. Okay, so what's my impression of the Ruko F11 uh, GIM2 drone? Um, again, zero drone experience. This is the first one that I've ever had in my hands. Um, like I said, Saunders brother did have one. I think his was the DJI, which my understanding is, in looking at those, they're probably a little, they're a little higher end. But I think this is probably a good beginner uh, drone. Good, something good to start get started with. The price point on it, uh, $459 on Amazon as of this shooting. I'll leave an Amazon link in the description down below. And also, I think we've got a coupon code. If I do, I'll leave that in the description down below as well if you're interested in one of these. I like the fact that it does have a beginner mode, so it sort of has some safety features in there that will prevent you from um, you know, wrecking the thing or just flying uh, way outside of where you can see and, and control and that sort of thing. Um, there are some other nice modes on here, it looks like. There's a follow me mode. Um, like I was mentioning earlier, that point of interest mode where it will follow, you know, it will pick a point of interest and then kind of do the circle around. I think that's that's probably going to be nice. But again, for farm applications, I think this is I think there's some benefits here. Um, again, checking your animals, um, being able to go out and, and, and see what they're doing without actually going to disturb them. Um, if you've got predator issues, being able to kind of monitor your animals from, you know, afar. If you've got something that you think maybe is getting in, maybe go check it out, that kind of thing. Uh, flying your property, uh, being able to get a, a bird's eye view of what your property, what's going on. You know, we kind of saw the, uh, if, I can get, if I can get, if I was able to get the footage onto this video, we're able to see the differences in where the chickens were, where they are and where they're going. Um, that kind of bring, that really helps bring into focus something that uh, Salatin says a lot, talking about this uh, mosaic patchwork of what the different areas on your farm may look like. So I think that'll be fun to watch and see how grass has changed and forage has changed and what animals are doing and the impact that they're having uh, and that kind of thing. So even if you're not shooting YouTube videos, I think there's some value in having a drone. Um, so I'm excited to use this. I think it's gonna help us produce some better videos for y'all. Um, we really appreciate everybody that watches and we wanna bring you some good quality content and nice shots and all that kind of thing. And I think the drone is going to help us do that. So thank you to the folks at Ruko. Again, I think it's a good value for the money. Feels well built. Uh, looks like it's got a bunch of different features. Good beginner drone. Um, something to kind of get started with if you're interested in having a drone on your farm or on your property. So like we always say, please keep us in your prayers. May God bless you and your families. And we'll see you on the next video. Thanks. Mm -hmm.